channel be growing and growing. Uzi, he cutting, I throw it. Double team and you be hoeing. I saw you mad when I show it. Ace on the track and he flowing. But grinding his shots and you know it. Green every time if he open, but still hit his shot and you'll throw it. You thought you could help by approaching that splash when I tell me be going. Spin the back, I'll see you later. Thought you was hot, but I'm greater. Thought you could stop me, I'm brave. This game is my life, I'm a player. I run down the court, hit a fader. I want your VC, no paper. King of the court, the creator. Running 2K is a faker. Shooting shots like I'm a Laker. Time to come in, meet your maker. You getting pronounced as a baby. Oh, Bailey. Drop a like in the next five seconds if you want to see your favorite lovable teddy bear. Hit level 40 on current gen this week, then switch to next gen and do it all over again. Yeah, so basically, I'm using the likes on this video to see if y'all have any interest in me posting next gen videos. So if you do, drop a like. By the way, this video is a dribble tutorial for both gens, next gen and current gen. So you have nothing to worry about. The gameplay is pretty much the same. <laughs> What's up, Simply Squad? It's your boy, Dribble God Grinding. And remind me to never disrespect y'all's body ever again. Last video, I said if y'all somehow got the video to 5k likes, I would drop my dribble moves and a dribble tutorial. And apparently, y'all took that personally because y'all messed around and got 11k in a day like it was easy. I mean, I guess it makes sense because a lot of my comments recently have been asking for my dribble moves but i'm not gonna lie that amount of love had me up late night thinking why do y'all watch me man like serious question with all the 2k youtubers out there what makes me special to you if y'all can let me know in the comments i would love to see that now i know what y'all here for i'm not finna waste y'all's time but a quick little update yesterday we all agreed on a challenge where if i'm not shooting 70 percent from the three by september 19th i owe y'all a 300 dollar giveaway and at the time of that video i was shooting 65 percent from the three but now my shooting percentage went down because 2k was delayed all day yesterday they had me shooting very early and very late like it was my job so my question is which one of y'all betas paid off ronnie 2k to secure your giveaway was it you jonathan what about you nick i know someone named jonathan and nick are stunned right now but yo i know one of y'all did something whatever you did though is cool because i'm gonna figure it out but on the off chance i don't remember to win the giveaway you have to be subbed with my youtube with notifications on so before we go into this make sure you're subscribed with the bell clicked and set to all videos all right you good you got it bet let's get into the dribble tutorial first things first my dribble moves i'm not going to cover every single one just make sure to screenshot all of these dribble moves make sure to have them all down even if you're not going to use these dribble moves in the park use them to practice off this tutorial and then you could switch up the ones that you don't like i honestly think you're going to love all of them especially this trey young size up package it's the greatest speed boost in the game but i'm just saying just in case all right y'all so the way i do this every year is we start with the basics and then get into the more advanced dribble moves but don't worry we go from basic to every move in my bag really quickly so trust me you won't get too bored all right let's get into this so the first move we're gonna cover is the momentum behind the back this move is usually how i start almost every single possession just to catch the defense off guard and they actually changed how to do it this year so this year to do the momentum behind the back starting in your right hand you're gonna start by flicking up on your right stick and moving to the left with your left stick then once you get to this point right here you're gonna hold rt and flick your right stick diagonally down to the right so the difference between this and last year is that last year you would start off by holding rt you don't do that this year if you try to hold rt before starting the move you end up just doing a rhythm dribble which is not what you're going for right here so one more time you flick your right stick up and move your left stick to the left then when it gets to this point right here you hold rt you flick your right stick diagonally down to the right and you move to the right on your left stick now if you start in your left hand it's the same thing just inverted you flick your right stick up and you move your left stick to the right then again when it gets to this point you hold rt you flick your right stick diagonally down to the left and you move your left stick to the left now some people opt out of moving your left stick after doing the behind the back because it gives you a nice little clean move like this which you could speed boost out of and then afterwards change direction and speed boost again so it's up to you if you don't want to move your left stick after you get this animation and if you do you get this animation all right now that that's covered we're gonna get into the second basic move that's mad important the rhythm dribble to do a rhythm dribble all you do is hold rt and flick up on our rest it'll do the animation for you it'll do all the dribble moves for you you don't have to do anything the only thing you have to do is time whenever it's in one hand so you could run that way and get a speed boost 
Baron Davis is the best rhythm dribble in the game, 1000%. Because as you can see, the second you start sprinting, you get a huge speed boost to whatever side you're trying to go to. Now that y'all know both of those basic moves, we're gonna get more into the bag section of the video. I told y'all it wouldn't take too long. So the most important thing in NBA 2K22 is how fast you change direction. Now there are three moves that you need to know that change direction so fast you are literally unguardable when you chain them all together. The first one is the one we just covered, the rhythm dribble. Baron Davis, hold RT, flick up on RS, and sprint to the side is dribbling. That's the first change of direction. The second is you hold RT while sitting in place, and if the ball's in your right hand, you flick your right stick to the left, and if the ball's in your right hand, you flick your right stick to the right. So what this does is it gives you two different moves to change direction so there's no combo lag. If you don't know what that is, basically there's some animations in 2K that they don't let you spam twice in a quick succession. So instead, they'll give you like a stutter step that's super slow and it ruins your rhythm. So what you need is multiple moves that change direction. So for example, you hit the Baron Davis speed boost, then you stop and change direction with the behind the back. It might not look like all that right now, but that's because we haven't even covered the fastest speed boost in the game. We're getting there. Trust. Y'all may be getting flashback vibes from 2K20 because this is literally how you used to do the misdirection behind the back when that move was fast. If you try to do it this year, it's a very slow animation, not very effective. It can still be used in certain scenarios. I've seen people get cooked with it, but honestly, there's just way better moves to use this year than this. For example, the standing misdirection behind the back. For that, it's the same thing. You hold RT, you flick your right stick up to do the Baron Davis, then you stop moving. Once you stop moving, the ball's in your right hand, you're gonna hold RT, and flick your right stick to the left without moving your left stick at all. What that does is give you a behind the back animation that you can speed boost out of over and over again. And it's perfect for changing directions. Think about it, you were just speed boosting to the right. The defense is gonna react to the right, you switch it up, you go to the left, you shoot, you get your green. Now it's time to cover the best change of direction move in the game. Those other ones were chump chains that you use every now and then just to switch up your bag a little bit. But this one is the fastest in probably almost any 2K ever. And it's the reason why we have Trey Young escape package. Look at this, y'all. If the ball's in your left hand, you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally up to the right. And if the ball's in your right hand, you're gonna flick your right stick diagonally up to the left. Now, if you're getting this move right here, you're two sideways. You're flicking the right stick sideways. It needs to be diagonally up to the left and up to the right. Do you see how insanely fast and impossible to guard that is? Like I told you, the controls are literally just hold RT and flick your right stick up to the left and up to the right, depending on what hand you're dribbling from. So all you need to learn how to do is learn how to stop on a dime whenever you're done dribbling and then do that move. You could literally only know this move and you would be decent at NBA 2K22. The reason I taught you every single one of those change of direction moves is because they are nasty when chained together. So for example, a possession for me would look like this. Basically, it's just a bunch of change of directions that are impossible to keep up with, especially if you're taking screens. But ISO, this works as well. Nobody can react fast enough to all of these speed boosts and change of direction. So just a quick recap, to do the best change of direction in the game, say you're dribbling in your left hand, you hold RT, you flick your right stick diagonally up to the right. If you're holding it in your right hand, you hold RT and you flick your right stick diagonally up to the left. That's the best speed boost in the game. If you're trying to rhythm dribble, you hold RT, you flick RS up and you speed boost out. Hold RT, flick RS up, and you speed boost out. If you want to trick your opponent, you can wait for Baron Davis to dribble twice, and then you can go out so they don't know you're going to the same side that you always do. I'm not gonna lie, if you wanted to, you could literally just spam rhythm dribbles back and forth, but I feel like a lot of good players would clamp this, but this would work on the average player. And lastly, there's a through the legs change of direction that, in my opinion, is the slowest out of the three, but can be good for distracting your opponent and you just hold RT, you flick your right stick to the left if you're dribbling with your right hand, and you flick your right stick to the right if you're dribbling with your left hand. Now, one last speed boost I wanna cover before we move on to other moves is if you're dribbling the ball in your left hand, there's a same side speed boost that works really well at tricking your opponent. So basically, if you're dribbling the ball in your left hand, you hold RT and you flick your right stick to the left. And if you're dribbling the ball in your right hand, you hold RT and you flick your right stick horizontally to the right. Just another speed boost to add to your arsenal it helps a lot and you can chain it with other moves you can do the best speed boost in the game then speed boost again that same side you can do the through the leg speed boost and speed boost to the same side it's all about creativity this year with how many speed boosts you can chain together that's really pretty much it now to cover a couple different moves the spin back from 2k20 is back in the game for those of y'all that didn't know i know a lot of people don't use this yet but it is definitely still in the game and it is still 
very viable for my ISO players out there. You could use this move to shoot off of, or you could just use it to reset your offense and just try and dribble again. So basically, if you're dribbling the ball with your right hand, you're going to sprint towards the hoop, and you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the left to do a behind the back. Once you've done the behind the back, you are going to spin your right stick from 12 to 9 o'clock. Once your player goes into the spin back animation, you have two options. You can either hold RT and flick your right stick sideways to the left to do a behind the back. And honestly, I just tried the second option and it's very slow, so I'm not even going to give it to you. But there is a second option to initiate the moving spin, which is a through the legs instead of a behind the back. Same control as you sprint at the basket, but this time instead of flicking your right stick diagonally down to the left, you're going to do it horizontally to the left to do the through the legs and then you can spin right off of it personally i like the behind the back more but it's up to y'all now to do it from your left hand you are going to sprint at the hoop you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the right to initiate the behind the back then you're going to spin your right stick from three to six then once you initiate the spin back animation you're going to flick your right stick horizontally to the right again you could also do the between the legs same controls you would just do sideways on your right stick instead of that diagonally down to the right now when you're just learning these moves this is the combo i would try to do over and over again you're gonna do a rhythm dribble baron davis you're gonna stop and you're gonna do one of the change of direction speed boosts back and forth just do this over and over again in your my court until you get it down you could do the fast one which is diagonally up to the left and diagonally up to the right this one right here you could switch it up and do the between the legs one which is horizontally to the left and horizontally to the right or you could do the rhythm dribble which is up on the right stick or you can do the same side speed boost, which is just flick the right stick to the direction you're dribbling. Whatever it is, you need to master these moves. Honestly, I think the standing behind the back is the best form of change of direction to transition between all these moves. So you do a move, behind the back, do another move, behind the back, do another move, behind the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that is the best way because you can honestly speed boost off the behind the back itself. You could just go like this and just run and that does it. And then you could go back, then you do it again. Then you go this way instead, then you do same side. Like you could just run around the whole court. This year is insane with the speed boost. And honestly, I didn't feel like teaching momentum spam. Like I don't really think it's useful in any way this year, but I mean, I could be wrong. I'm not an ISO head y'all. I just, I'm just a dude who knows how to get open and score. So if you're like me, you're gonna like this. Once again, I have a 95 win percent with 200 games played. My record is like 220 and 12. I'm averaging 12 points per game, 65% from the three. 72% from the field. If you're trying to be effective, I'm your guy. But anyways, y'all, just in case you haven't watched my last video, I'm gonna show y'all all of my badges that I put on. These are all my playmaking badges, my defense badges, and finally, my finishing. I have jump shot videos out already, so I'm not gonna cover that. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it. So far, I've given you my jump shot, my dribble moves, and my badges, three different videos. Make sure if you wanna want if you want to know any of those, make sure to go check out the other videos on my channel. But y'all, at the moment, we are at level 36, about to hit level 40. I'll most likely be hitting level 40 on a stream on YouTube. So if you're not sub with notifications on, make sure you sub with notifications on so you don't miss that. Then afterwards, we'll tackle next gen. Assuming y'all have any interest for next gen. If not, we'll come back to current gen and start doing my stream snipe videos, my best build videos for other builds. I'm making my ISO build next. I can't wait for y'all to see that. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, Please keep grinding. Falling, falling. Who can we never be falling? Yeah. Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling. Who can we never be falling? Rachel, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting.